What's up guys, welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. We're at the 2023 PGA Merchandise Show and we're at the FlightScope booth. A lot going on over here because there have been updates. So there is a new updated FlightScope Mevo Plus. I'm here with Alex from FlightScope and we're gonna talk about those new features. Things like a updated stand, which I think is actually really cool because it's now at 12 degrees and it's 12 degrees for everything. So no confusion on where you need to set it, open it up all the way. If you're on a level surface, you're at 12 degrees. Extended battery life, uh, up to three hours, which I think is great. A lot of people ask for that, that's awesome. But it doesn't stop there because they're bringing a lot to the table with software and enhancements. So Alex and I are gonna dive into that. I think probably one of the most exciting features that you know has kind of grabbed everybody's attention is the ball impact. So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so the face impact. So um, we've been making you know improvements with our fusion tracking and, our, and that patent that we have. And so we made an update uh, called Advanced Fusion Tracking. And what it does now is it, it allows us to use not only the radar, but also the image processing to accurately tell you where you're striking it on the face. So no, the days of foot spray are now over. Yeah. So, uh, and it's very accurate. So, and you and I were chatting about it. a little bit, you know, before we started recording, and I was just asking some questions. You're using everything. So you're using the camera, you're using the radar, you're using your AI Correct. and everything to kind of combine it. And that's how you're making sure that impact is as close as possible. Absolutely. And we also, um, we all, because shapes, head shapes are, are different sizes, we even give the user the ability to calibrate their actual head shape into the software. Yeah, you mentioned that, and I think that that's amazing. We're seeing golf clubs of all shapes and sizes now, and so you guys are understanding that, hey, if you want the highest level of accuracy possible, that you need to adjust that, and that's huge. So you said you can even measure your club if you want to and input the measurements? Uh, you, you you take the physical measurement right. and then you input it into the yeah. software, yeah. yeah. That's awesome, that's yep. really good stuff. Um, well, why don't we do this? Why don't you take a quick shot? Yep. Um, do you want to do a foot spray demo yeah, for them? Yeah, let's do it, let's do it, I want to show them. Do so it live, and I want to bring up to you guys that, so we're inside, the lights are 100 feet above us, you know, and this is not ideal lighting. So most people in their simulator are gonna have a nice overhead light and it's gonna give you proper lighting, you know, where the impact image is, and that's something to pay attention to. Yeah. So, so it's uh, fusion. Bring that up too. Yeah, that you can turn it off. Yeah. So we require for for the advanced fusion, we require at least uh, 200 lumens. That's actually a low light environment. Yeah. 300 lumens is what where we would call green. Okay. But the application will tell you what environment you're in. So right now we're in what we call an insufficient light, which we're under two, uh, we're under 100 lumens. Wow. So but it's still working pretty good. I know, good, I saw so. you hit a demo shot. Uh, this is pretty cool. I'll let you go ahead and yeah, hit a shot. I'll one. get out of the way. They've got it linked up. Uh, they're using an iPad, and they have an HDMI cable running up to the TV. We're hitting in an indoor environment, so he's got that set up properly. And then he's going to come over with the club. So you guys can see where that hit. It hit right here on the club. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the camera and bring it over. I think that's the best thing to do. Yeah, let's do a side by side. Wow. I mean, that's now that's I'm gonna show on. you. I'll, <laughs> I'll show you the. Uh, I'll show you this side just so you can see it in more detail. I want everybody to be able to see yeah, it in absolutely. more detail. Absolutely. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's look on the TV as well. I mean, that's that's huge. Let me hit another one. Yeah, go ahead and hit another one. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about this, you know, before we got started, and a lot of golfers might think they know where it's hitting on the face, but it might feel like it, but it's not the case. This is reassurance. Yep. Little more, little more toe bound. Yep. And a little more toe bound. And we're in that insufficient lighting, yes, which sir. is just, I mean, that's just beyond impressive. Um, now we talked about a couple other things. You wanna uh, show them the augmented reality? Yeah, let's do that. All right, awesome. This is cool, guys. I mean, a lot of people that are familiar with, uh, and you already have a shot. No, I'm gonna hit one. Yeah, go ahead and take so a you live can, shot. You'll, you, we have an iPad set up down the line with yep. multicam and AR, and then it's just gonna link that video over to the operating uh, iPad. Perfect. And that's another thing to remind you guys, the multi-cam feature that they have inside the FSF, uh, FS Golf software is fantastic. 
So he's just got an iPad running right uh, behind the golfer. Hits his shot. We'll grab the camera again. We'll come over here. Yep. So um, when you're outdoors, you have to wait till the, the um, shot lands. Video gets clipped. Indoors in here, obviously, there's a lot of networks, but it takes it a little bit longer, but there it is. So I click on my video. You get your trace, live trace with your data. That's fantastic. Oh, and by the way, you can also, um, you can now have your drawing tools. So you can draw your oh, knives. in AR. Circles, and then you can even record a lesson. Very cool. That's awesome. So, I mean, it could be a golfer recording a lesson to send to their instructor. It could be an instructor recording the lesson to send the review, you know, to the student. Either or, I find that uh, that's super useful. Yeah, super Absolutely. useful. Absolutely. Uh, let's talk about a couple other things really quick. Um, this is exciting because people have asked about this for a long time. Uh, FS Golf for PC. Yes. So that is now. Yeah. So released. it's live. It's released. Um, obviously, X3 customers uh, get that, and if you own the Pro Package, you will also get. Um, the PC software. So current Mevo Plus users that own Pro Package get FS Golf for PC. Yes. And then if someone doesn't have Pro Package, they're looking to add the PC, is that just an add-on? It's $99. $99, yep. okay, cool. One-time fee, uh, $99, we'll send them the link and then they can they can download yep. it. And I had a lot of people, you know, I posted the teaser that you guys kind of put out there for Impact, and of course the comments came, you know, flowing in and everybody's like, well, is Impact included? And I, I see that you guys have an add-on price, I think it's $499, right? $499. And I guess it was a good opportunity in this video to explain to everyone, you know, I'll let you explain it, but the amount of engineering that went into that, that needs to be paid for. And what's great is, is you guys make the initial investment. Obviously, you need to recoup it, but it shows you success so you can continue development like that in the future. So tell us a little bit about how many people worked on that. Yeah, I mean, so we, I mean, I showed you here, we probably have yeah. about six or seven developers here that are managers in the different divisions. and. Um, you know, we have doctors, or we have guys that are that have doctorates in applied math, math and they're scientists. You know, yeah. super. I don't way above my my, my pay too. grade. So, yeah. um, you know, and these people spend a lot of time doing research and development, um, and and we, there's tools that we have to purchase, and like any business, right? So, one of the reasons why we were able to do this is because we were able to enable that advanced fusion which now allows us with good lighting conditions to be able to use the radar data as well as the synchronized image processing gotcha. to provide this information. Gotcha. So it's, uh, I, could, I wish we could give it to everybody for course. free, but you know. Yeah, no, it comes uh, at a cost and it's not for everybody, but I will tell you that, you know, if, if impact is an important thing that you need to work on, I mean, obviously the results we're seeing are amazing. And you know, a couple things to point out to you guys. So one, that lighting, I mean, you really should pay attention to that. Yes. Do I want to grab the camera and you can show them yes, how, uh, show them where that's at? So right inside your FS Golf app, I'll just go right to the TV. Yep, so you, if you go into your club analysis, okay, and then you go into face impact, you're gonna see where it says insufficient light, you may not receive club impact lo uh, location gotcha. data. Gotcha, so when you're viewing the impact, you can see that. And then uh, you were talking about the lumens. It yes, so this insufficient lighting means we have a, less than 100 lumens. Yep. Um, if, if you're between, I'm sorry, under 200. If you're between 200 and 300, you would have a low light condition, and then above 300 lumens, you would be in the green. Okay, all right, got it. So. I mean, that is, that's awesome that you guys are bringing that all to the table. Um, you know, other than that, anything else new that, you know, they need to know about? I know that you and I talked real briefly, and I'll, I'll bring this up because I think it's important for everybody to understand. Um, my unit's only seven feet, you know, behind the ball. Uh, standard setup is eight feet, and then eight feet of minimum flight. Um, but you and I were talking that that light and setup, uh, clean environment's important. I've talked about that many, many times. It's not rocket science, and you should ask support if you need for help. You know, need help setting up or wondering what's you know could be causing anything. But they are using the camera combined with radar to capture all of this stuff, and they're even taking the spin initially from the unit, the spin access 
with the radar, um, it's it's not a calculated you know spin axis. They're actually using multiple things to come up with spin axis, which I think is is important. And you said you know now that you're just getting more and more, you're combining it all. It's giving you a higher level of accuracy. Yeah, and and, it, and like I said, it's we're going to keep developing it because this technology we we've unlocked something, and we're going to keep going down that that rabbit hole, if you would say. So yeah, um, I think. You're just going to continue to see advancements and advancements in, into what this this can do. So yeah, I love to see you guys just continuing the development rather than just the set it and forget it model. Uh, so the new unit, twenty one ninety nine, like I mentioned. Um, the other thing that I don't know if I mentioned earlier in the video, but now that comes with E six for iOS and also PC. Yes. Right. So that's cool. That's another you know added value to the the updated unit. Um, as always, if you guys have any questions, make sure you comment below. If you're looking to purchase a FlightScope unit, reach out to me. I'll make sure your space you know is what it needs to be. I can answer any questions for you. And as always, I'll put links in my email down below so you guys can uh, purchase the unit, help support the channel, which I appreciate. Alex, thank you thank for you, taking the time yeah, you know to go so over much. everything. I mean, just amazing the amount of stuff you guys are bringing to the table. Stay tuned. We'll have a lot more coming soon from the 2023 PGA Merchandise Show. Thanks for watching.